Hey guys, Andrew coming at you. In today's video, I'm going to talk about saving money. Now, first of all, if I can save money, anybody can save money. Now, I'm about to tell you things that like you can find anywhere else and I get that, but this is the most important thing I think you'll ever learn. I always find that some people are naturally really good at saving money and naturally really good at um, planning and organizing. These people are really good at what I like to call delayed gratification, which is really, really important. Now my story, when I was younger, I was always bad with money. I mean, I had jobs, I always worked, I always worked, but I always seemed to be like on the edge of saving money or not having enough to save. And it wasn't until about two or three years ago that I really went, you know, wait, I'm working hard, I'm doing all this stuff, I'm, the working hard part is cool, but I'm not so good at saving money and I don't want to be 50 or 60 or get ready to retire and then have nothing to show for it. I mean, think about it, think about how sad it is having nothing to show for it. I read this book called The Richest Man in Babylon, I've read a lot of books on money, but my sister was the one that really kind of helped me out. Shout out to you, Jess. She's always been really good at saving money, and so I started to pick her brain and see what works. The funny thing is, I've always been a pretty disciplined person, but I just wasn't disciplined for, with money. So, to give you an example, I've always, for the last six years, I've been a runner. And I've run two marathons, I'm training to run another one here soon, hopefully in Stockholm. And I need to apply how I would save money to how I would train for a marathon. And the answer to that is, it's... It is. Saving money is a marathon and not a sprint. I think when I started out saving money, the thing that always stressed me out is, oh, all I have is $50, or if you're in Sweden, 500 crowns. That's all I can save this month. And so I felt like I was having barely anything in my savings account, and I was such a failure for doing that. Get that thought out of your head. If It's not about the money that you make. So I don't care if you're working at McDonald's, flipping burgers. I don't care if you're a doctor. It doesn't matter if you're not putting money in the bank. So if you have money in the bank, money you're not spending, that is definitely the money that matters, okay? So if you can start out small, then that's the way you're gonna start. So if you can only save like $25 this month, okay, fine, do 25, get used to doing 25, bump it up to 30, 35, 40, 50, and before you know it, that money starts to accumulate. And I'll tell you, it, look, it starts to feel really good when you look on the computer or on your phone and you see money there that you're not spending. I thought it'd be weird. I thought I would get excited and want to spend money, but I actually really enjoyed seeing the money there. I'm not going to go into investing everything else. I think the important thing is the first step is to just start saving. As I started getting into this with learning how to save money, you just start to see it grow, like I said. Once the money starts to grow, the next step I would say is try to not get in the habit of credit cards. I made that mistake with credit cards a little bit. Luckily, I wasn't as bad as it could have been, but I used the credit cards a couple of times and I realized the very powerful message or powerful lesson that I would tell you, which is do not spend money you don't have. Yes, you might want the newest iPhone. You might, you might want to buy this new game. Maybe you need a computer for college and you just know I can swipe that and it's gonna cost me $1,500. But then look at the interest that you're paying and if you're paying anything over 18%, if you're not paying that back right away, man, you just become a slave to the, you know, the credit card companies. So when you're in that situation, I think you need to start saving money, but then start looking at your credit stuff and realize that credit cards is not the road you want to go down. If you are young and you can start saving money and you can kind of, if you can just avoid credit cards altogether, unless it's an emergency, because that's what credit cards should be used for. Actually, no, credit cards shouldn't even be used for an emergency. That's why you save money. That's why you have a savings account. So try to get out of that right away. The cool thing is once you start saving money, then you can start planning on things. Oh, I want to do a trip. Oh, I want to buy the newest and latest greatest phone. Or I want to get an iPad or iPhone. I'm getting to the point now where I'm saving money where now I can go, what do I want to buy for myself in three to four months? Because I'm saving money and now I need to have some money to have fun. Another really important thing to do is to kind of look at your bank account and see where you're spending money. Now, when I was spending too much money, I was just what I, we would call nickeling and diming myself. I was just spending money on silly little things every day. I wasn't spending $100 at once. I was spending $5 here, $25 there. So you can really start to look at your money. Once you have that money set up and you got that going, you're in great shape. Look, if you're young and you can get this down, you're going to be so successful. Because, like again, I said, it's not about what your work is. It's about how you save money. I truly believe that... 
no matter what job you have, you can become a millionaire. I really believe that's possible if you follow these steps. Now, once you start to get good at saving money, then obviously you need to invest. I'm not the person to talk about that with. I'm still on my money saving journey. I would suggest setting up a retirement fund as soon as you get your first. When I say real job, I mean a full-time job. So as soon as you get your full-time job, set up some form of retirement fund, whether it's a Roth, a Roth IRA or a, a pension. Go ahead and take a look at that, learn that, but set that up right away because even though you're saving money, I don't care if you're putting $25 a month, again, you can increase it over time. For me, the running, I was always increasing mileage, so with getting used to saving money, it was the same type of thing. And then I suddenly learned I am very disciplined. I can totally do this. I still remember the first time my savings account hit over $1,000. Now, that might sound sad to some people. Maybe some people have a lot more. Maybe people have less. But when I had $1,000 sitting in the bank, that's when I really saw this, the progress that I made. And I realized that once you start to save money and get good at it, that next thousand is going to come much easier and then easier and easier. And then you start to have money to play with. I mean, when I say play with, I mean, maybe you can invest or set up, you can do some investments. Or let's say someday you want to start your own business or anything else, you're going to need to have money first. So you're going to have to make those sacrifices. I have never regretted it. I, I don't look back and say, wow, I could have bought... Because think about it, you buy a phone, and this is just a junk phone, but I mean, if you have a phone and you, and you buy it, it's not an investment or anything. Yeah, there's some phones you can sell back, but as soon as you buy it and start using it, it's going to lose money. It's the same if you buy a car, you know. So get used to making some sacrifices with money. Live within your means. You know, you don't have to have the nicest clothes all the time. You can have some nice outfits. You don't have to buy the latest electronics all the time. You can always buy a nice budget electronic that you need. The most important thing we can do is think about our future selves. I know that when I was 18 years old, I didn't think about my future self. And I'm starting to get older, and I wish I had. If you're younger, think now about it. I Think about your future self. Think about the person you want to be. And, and realize that you have to love yourself now, and you have to love your future self. You want to be able to take care of your future self. There's no guarantee anywhere in the world that... Social security is going to exist. I hope it does, and maybe it will, but in wh whatever country you live in, there's never a guarantee. We never know what the economy is going to do or anything else. So you have to take the steps to put yourself in the right position. The more money you have saved, the more options you can have. And I will tell you straight up, it feels better to not live paycheck to paycheck and to, to know that if an emergency happens or something happens, I'm going to be ready to handle it. I'm going to be able to do that. It gives you a sense of freedom that... And I'm nowhere near, again, where I want to be, but I'm starting, put it this way, I'm in the tunnel, but I'm starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel. Lastly, I don't care how far you are, how much you're in the hole, how dark it seems financially, there is always a way out of it. All right, guys, I, I hope you liked this video. If you did like it, please give me a like or a thumbs up, and I will see you in the next video. Take care.